Okay, I'm having a moment right now. I'm anchored uh, just south of Kingston, uh, a few miles, couldn't get into the marina, and I have no shore power right now. It's about 13 degrees, 13 degrees Celsius out. So in years past, it would have been, you know, 13, 15 degrees, whatever, uh, in here in the aft cabin, but it's not. Right now it is 20, uh, 24 degrees in here, 24 and a half degrees in here right now because of my new hydronic diesel heating system. And I have no lights. Oh, that was loud. So, if we look at I'm going to turn the hot water heater for a second here, you can see the temperature. So right now the hot water tank is at 67 degrees, and that's because it's been he being heated by the new hydronic heating system that I installed. So it's going to run for the next 412 minutes. Basically, it's going to get me through the morning. And it's drawing essentially like no power, relatively speaking. Um, total draw right now is 430 watts DC, but that's uh, the fridge is running and my computers and I have like all the lights, everything's running right now. So I'd say the um, water heating system is probably drawing something like, I don't know, two or three amps, like maybe 20 or 30 watts. And it's creating hmm, at least, I don't know, 2,000 watts maybe of, of heat down there in the aft cabin. And you can see all the magic happening right here. So here's that there is the overflow tank. So that's where all the water goes when it expands, essentially, out of the system. Because as you heat the water, obviously it expands a little bit. And it looks like it's boiling right now, but it's not. That's just... Uh, water coming up from the bottom and being pumped by water pump down down there. And you can also see the fuel filter and the fuel pump down there. And if I step across the engine here, ow, oh, that, that hurt. Uh, up here, just beyond the inverters, that's the actual furnace. And here's my Here's my hand for like size comparison here. Like it's, oh, I'm touching it there. So that thing is tiny. It's like, I don't know, maybe 10, 12 inches across. That's the exhaust and yeah, wiring harness and all that. So that runs down through these hoses, the water hoses down to the uh, water pump down there. It circulates through the hot water tank, so I also have domestic hot water. Like I can you know, take showers and do dishes and do laundry and stuff like that. But for tonight, more importantly, if that valve right there is in that position, then it routes that hot water around the entire boat down through there under the staircase, right next to the batteries, and ultimately over to there, that little heat exchanger, which I built using a motorcycle uh, oil cool or motorcycle radiator fan, a uh, radiator and fan, uh, or like an oil cooler fan. It's like kind of a dual purpose dealy, uh, with a couple of really quiet computer fans, and it is enough to keep this entire area here. Um, well. It's like 13 degrees, so 11 degrees above ambient with no trouble at all. It could probably do about 25 degrees. Actually, it could probably even do more. In fact, I have a little adjuster knob uh, just inside the closet there, and you can actually increase the speed of the fans. And It wouldn't surprise me if it was able to hold this entire cabin like 30 degrees above ambient. So, yay, that's perfect.